Democrats are hoping that Kamala Harris can reverse the trend of black voters switching away from Mr. Biden. It is a demographic which traditionally Democrats appeal. The black community makes up almost 14% of the population. But at the last election uh, four years ago, 92% of black voters chose Joe Biden. A recent poll, though, before he dropped out, showed Mr. Biden's support among black voters had actually fallen to 77% compared to Mr. Trump's 17%. Independence Hall in Philadelphia is the birthplace of America. Behind its Georgian walls, the US Constitution was signed into history. Now this Pennsylvanian city will play a critical part in determining America's future. Here, as in much of the country, the economy is key and has driven down the Democrats' vote share, particularly in the black community. So will Kamala Harris's candidacy change that? It's like picking uh, your poison, honestly. I'm not like a Kamala fan. I'm not. I, I mean, if you, I had the vote, I would vote for Kamala. But I'm not a Kamala fan. It's like picking your poison to me. Harris, she's not winning. She's not going to win. Trump already got it. I don't know why nobody don't think he don't got it. He got it. Once he got shot at, he won the election. This is the text message I got to join the call, uh, Win with Black Women, where 40,000 women joined to raise uh, money for Kamala Harris on Sunday night. And that was millions within a few hours? Yes, millions within a few hours. And then Amadi Braxton is a radio host in well, Philadelphia. Uh, Her phone-in gone as the views of a cross-section of voters. People feel um, not overconfident, but focused. Um, the aim is really to defeat Trump and the MAGA agenda, um, and we're delighted that we might be able to do it with the first woman president. The floor is yours. During the 2020 campaign, Harris was criticized for laws she enforced as a prosecutor, which sent a disproportionate number of black men to jail. So does such a hesitancy remain? There was a concern which I shared that uh, some of her decisions and her policies disproportionately affected African-American men, but it doesn't seem to have followed her. And I think so much time has passed since her service in that capacity and now that more people, I hope, are more focused on the upcoming presidential election. She's not running to be the attorney general. She's running to be president of the United States. God bless that is one of the issues Donald Trump will seek to exploit as he targets the concerns of black voters in the hope of seeing a further rise in his vote share. Calvin Tucker is the head of Trump's Make America Great Again committee here. The interest is how do we get jobs and opportunities uh, for African Americans and for generations to come. She's had three years to, working in administration to make those changes and uh, they have not made any significant changes. Kamala Harris has offered her party hope, but she will have to offer others a hope for the future if she's to secure the presidency. Emma Murphy, News at 10, Philadelphia.